Leopard 2 160 bomber to undergo government testing. Moscow Russia's new prototype 2160M bomber has completed its second test flight and will now undergo trials with the Defense Ministry. The December flight of the aircraft, developed by United Aircraft Corporation subsidiary Tupolev, came nearly a year after the first flight in January 2022. The tests involved maneuvers to check the stability of the bomber at altitudes of 602,000 meters, the serviceability of its systems, and the functionality of its engines, avionics, flap controls, and gear down and landing systems, according to UAAC. The test program also includes checking suits, helmets, breathing systems and catapult functionality, the company noted. With the completion of the factory testing program, the company delivered the aircraft to the ministry on December 30 for a second stage of tests. During that stage, officials will confirm the company met the aircraft requirements. Pilots will perform tests that simulate long-range flight and combat, while also checking capabilities at low altitude. The tests are expected to last up to three years, according to Vladimir Rigmund, a former assistant to the general director of Tupolev. Rigmund addressed the process in a speech last month at the Tupolev Museum, where he currently serves as director. The government expects the 2160M to enter service in the 2024-2025 time frame. During the testing process, the bomber will fly in various directions over Russia and international waters, with some events simulating an approach to North America, Rigman added. Modernized systems and equipment make up 80% of the 2160M, according to the general director of UAC, Yuri Slyuzar. Furthermore, the aircraft is using the new NK3202 engine, which itself will undergo flight tests. The aircraft is also expected to carry the latest Russian-made hypersonic weapons. According to Rigman, several missile launches would need to first successfully hit targets at the Sari Shagan test range in Kazakhstan or the Pemboy test range in the Arctic region. The airframe of the 2160M did not change, and it's unclear how the newly added technology will interact with the existing structure. The 2160 strategic bomber first flew in 1981. In 2015, the Defense Ministry announced the launch of a program to create a new, modified version, dubbed 2160M2, with plans to make 50 upgraded bombers.